And we greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus and Christian greetings, and we're certainly glad to be with you today. I'm your host, Josh, my lovely wife, Ashley, is a co-host, and we're certainly glad that we are able to come into wherever you may be, wherever you're watching, wherever you're listening. Thank you for watching the Josh and Ashley Show. We got a, we got a wonderful guest today, and uh, uh, we have a songwriter, we have a singer, we have a musician. Uh, literally, I, I believe I could honestly say that he is uh, what I would call a real living legend in okay. gospel music, uh, and uh, we're, we're just going to be enjoying his sense of humor and uh, all the things that he's going to bring to I the table I think you might today. laugh and you might cry Guarantee today. it. I guarantee you might just it. feel all the feels. Today. All the feels. You're <laughs> going to feel them today with our special guest. Now, we're not going to tell you who it is, no. so you're going to just have to keep watching the show and see who our guest is, and he's just waiting to get up here, but he'll be here in just a few moments. But before he does, let's tell them how they can learn more information about the Josh and Ashley Show. Absolutely. You can go to Josh and AshleyFranks.com. We have things posted there every single week about yep. our show. You can find our itinerary. Sure. You can purchase uh, music there. And then also come and talk with us on Facebook. We love to, to talk to you guys and know who you are and know uh, what you like about the show. That's right. If you don't like something, don't tell us that. that we right. don't want to hear the bad. Just <laughs> we want to know the good. Oh, my. Hey, Josh and AshleyFranks.com or Josh and Ashley Franks social media. You can find us there at all of those mm -hmm. social media markets. Now, we're going to sing today. And before we sing, you know, uh, I was thinking of an old classic. Now, normally we sing a hymn, uh, but today we're just going to go back into the catalog of Southern Gospel Music, pull out one of them old classics today and sing them for you. And I love this song. I remember uh, listening to this song when I was just a little boy in church and still today loving this song and this message. And I think these people are going to know it. And if you do, you just sing along with us, okay? There's a name above all others, wonderful to hear, ringing hope and cheer. It's the lovely name of Jesus. Turn it 
and we want to lift him up. High and lifted up, greatly to be praised. Amen. There is a name above all names, and it's wonderful to me. It's the only name that has the power to set my spirit free. So I'm going to give him glory. I'm going to give him all the praise. I'm going to testify and sing of his amazing grace. For there's no other name like Jesus, so greatly to be praised. I love the name of Jesus, for he washed my sin away. Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley Show. Ashley, why don't you introduce our special guest today? Oh, well, he doesn't need an introduction. This is so true. <laughs> but we're so excited today to have a dear friend. Yes. Wonderful songwriter and just absolutely Christian incredible comedian. person, Aaron Wilburn. Aaron Wilburn. Hey, y'all. Hey, my friend. <laughs> You know what? We're shaking hands like we haven't seen each other all day. You know, right. why don't we do that? Nice to Good see you. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do. You know, the um, things we do. Thank you for coming to the Josh oh, and Ashley Show. Oh, it's great show. to be here. Man, we, we, this, you know what? You're the first Christian comedian we've ever had on our show. Yep. Well. Yep. The rest of them been atheists or what? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? After we get done, you may be the last. I don't know. <laughs> hey, we're so glad that you're here. Man, your, your history of gospel music and being a part. Well, oh. it's, let me tell you something. It's unbelievable. I'll jump right in here. Jump but on in. Poor Ashley. I hope she can <laughs> say something, Ashley, because it'll be the only thing you'll something get. Something, Ashley. Good, good. Okay. I wanted to make sure you got to say something because. I'm just going to smile and nod. Uh, when I was with the Goodmans in the early 70s, they were getting ready to do a new album. Uh -huh. And I told Rusty, there is a song that Virginia Boulevard Church of God Choir sings in Huntsville, Alabama, that would be great for the Goodmans. Well, He said, get, get me uh, the music. And uh, without even asking, he just, uh, Rusty already, always trusted me uh, on those kind of things. And uh, so I called Church of God Publishing Company, and the guy that I called uh, was in one of my concerts about five years ago. He came up to me, introduced himself. I said, I remember your name. And he said, I'm the guy that you called 
asking for the sheet music to What a Lovely Name. Wow. Incredible. And they sent that song uh, to me, the sheet music, and of course I uh, passed it on to the Goodmans. Yeah. They recorded it. And you, y'all are singing it today. Still huh? singing it? How many years song. ago was that? That was in the early 70s. That's probably around wow. 72, 3. Well, well, it's a great song. That's, oh, and hey, a you great song knows no time limit. That's right. And That's I don't, in fact, I, I called the Kingsman Quartet uh, a couple of years ago, and I said, hey, here's a song written by Ray Lewis. Y'all need to record it. Yeah. And they listened to it, and they recorded it. I don't care. I don't have to write the song. Right. If a great song is a great song, it's a great I song. love to see a good song Certainly. sung. Mm -hmm. Me too. Whether my name's on it or not. Absolutely. But awesome. you do like it better when your name is on it. Right? Well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've written a lot. You've you've written a lot of wonderful songs down through the years. I've been blessed. And, uh, you started uh, your first song at 11 years old. Wrote my first song. It was a love song. Uh, I was in the flesh when I wrote it. <laughs> I didn't know what in the flesh was at 11 years old, but I was <laughs> in the you flesh. Were there. And, uh, oh, my. And, uh, yeah, her name was Vicky. Yeah. I, I wrote a song about her. I was in love with her. And then at 16, I wrote a song called Modern Age of Progress. Had four verses, no chorus. And it was my first song recorded by a professional group by the wow. Seagull Brothers. Wow. And Naomi. Wow. Wow. And here you are all these hundred years later, and you're still... Thousands of years <laughs> later. And, and that's without exaggerating. <laughs> we could say ten thousands of years if we were exaggerating. And, and, and you've written songs, for example, uh, sung by the Happy Goodman family. Uh, what a beautiful day for the Lord to come again. That sounds like home to me. Uh, Janet Pascal uh, recorded a, a great song, one of my favorite Aaron Thank Wilburn you. songs, uh, about the rain. It won't rain always. I but, wrote that with Bill and Gloria. Right, but you also uh, wrote another song, It's Beginning it's to Rain. It's Beginning to Rain. And then, uh, uh, of course, you've wrote the mega hit for Karen Peck and New River, Four Days Late. I mean, where does it stop, Aaron Wilburn? I hope it doesn't because... There, and I don't mean this in a bad way because a lot of people think when you're hearing voices, you know, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but, but songs are just constantly uh, going around in my head. And, Things uh, you're thinking of. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah. 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 How, how do you get an inspiration for a song idea? Well, like uh, on li last night, I don't know how all these programs play, but I was here last night with Gerald Crabb. And uh, I got two song ideas while y'all were talking. How about that? And um, uh, you, you'll you say something, and, and it just sparks right. an idea. Right. And it just runs yeah. and Just it, runs wild, doesn't it? It what, runs wild. What, yeah. what runs, Aaron or the song? Mm -hmm. I run to the song. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you. So you've been, you've been in gospel music a long time. Uh, who are you? Let, let's start here. Who are your uh, influences? In life. Rusty Goodman was absolutely my inspiration as a writer. I remember uh, I was at a little country church with a trio I sang with in Alabama uh -huh. near uh, Scottsboro. Uh -huh. And uh, this, we sung three of my songs that morning. And this guy walked up to me and said, I'd like for my sister to hear those songs. And I said, I, I'm, and back then it would have been a real to real tape. I yeah, said, I'll yeah. get you a tape. And uh, so he walked away. And one of the guys that sang with me came up and asked, who was that? I mean, what did he want? Uh -huh. I said, he wants his sister to hear my songs. He said, do you know who that is? I said, no. He said, that's Cat Freeman. That's Vestal Goodman's brother. Wow. And he wanted her to hear it. <laughs> wow. He hooked it up so I, I would... Uh, wow. meet the Happy Goodman family uh, at the uh, Dallas Street Armory in Huntsville, Alabama. Amazing. I met them, and two months later, Rusty asked me to come to Birmingham and meet them there again. Amazing. And then uh, a week or two after that, my mom called me at my sister's. Uh, I was visiting my sister's, and she said, Rusty Goodman just called, and he wants to know if you can move to Madisonville, Kentucky, wow. and travel with the Happy Goodman family. Wow. wow. And that's, and how long were you there? Uh, I was there about close to 
four years, I guess. That's amazing. That's amazing. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk more about the Happy Goodman family and the gospel singing Jubilee. Don't go anywhere. Our friend Aaron, is, Aaron Wilburn is here. We'll be right back. And you're watching The Josh and Asha Show, and we're back here with our friend Aaron Wilburn, who traveled many years with the Happy Goodman family. And uh, Aaron, tell me about, uh, I was just thinking a few minutes ago, all these funny stories that Aaron tells and uh, knocking your hero out in the head with the... Uh, with, uh, with the two-wheeler? <laughs> with the two-wheeler. Uh, but, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but but, but the, the amazing thing was you were watching them one year, and then the next year you were traveling with them and mm -hmm. on the Gospel Singing Jubilee TV show where you were a regular there for several years yep. as along with the Happy Giving family. Tell me about that. Well, I was, uh, I sang in a trio in Alabama, and we were near Scottsboro. <laughs> I would have liked to see Aaron and his friends in this trio, wouldn't yeah. you? Well, I guarantee you I was the skinniest. <laughs> I guarantee it too. Sam Goodman used to say, uh, Aaron just, people want to know how old he is. Well, he just started shaving. <laughs> Cut his legs both times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, uh, so we sang three or four of my songs that morning. Lunch, dinner on the ground, and this guy came up to me and said, I'd like for my sister to hear those songs. And yeah. I said, well, I'll get you a tape, and I'll get you a dress before I leave, and I'll send them to you. And, and so we talked a minute, and then he was gone. And one of the guys that sang with me ran over and asked, what does he want? I said, he wants his sister to hear some of my songs. And he asked, do you know who that was? And I said, no. Nope. He said, that's Cat Freeman. That's Vestal Goodman's brother. Well, and I said, oh. <laughs> then I went after him. <laughs> so, so you watched the gospel singing Jubilee. You saw Vestal, Howard, Sam, Rusty, and then you became a regular there. It was amazing. Now, I shouldn't tell this, but I'm going to tell it. Because back home, and she would laugh if she knew I was telling this. I'll tell her on Facebook. Because <laughs> uh, people tell everything on They Facebook. tell everything. Well, yeah. A guy the other day said, lesson learned, don't try to iron a shirt while you're wearing it. <laughs> Boy, he's a brilliant one. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, there, uh, she wasn't my girlfriend, but Judy Lee was a, a friend of mine at Free Will Baptist Church in Huntsville. And, and uh, I don't know how in the world it ever came to my mind, but I don't know how anything comes to my mind. <laughs> but everybody else be walking up those stairs and coming down those stairs singing, Jubilee, Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And I'd be waking, singing, Judy Lee. Judy Lee. <laughs> Judy Lee. <laughs> what a pretty little girl is Judy Lee. How about Judy that? Lee. <laughs> <laughs> now the secret's out. Now the secret's out. We're, we're telling so it on worldwide television right now. Oh, the Lord's been good to you. Hey, um, they can find your product and all your itinerary. Everything is on your website, Aaron Wilburn. Dot com. Is that right? And uh, they can go on there and you can find out more about our friend Aaron Wilburn. And I'm sure you'll want to do that. And you'll want to go uh, see him in a concert, wherever he may be. And uh, it, it'll just be a, a grand, grand time. Now, I want you to sing for us and uh, prepare yourself. The first song you're going to sing is a brand new song that you just uh, have written up. Uh, just a few, few uh, weeks, yes, months ago. It's actually a new single by the Bowlings. Yeah, and you're going to sing that. And then when you finish that one, then I want you to sing a classic that you wrote. It's one of my favorite Aaron Wilburn classics. Uh, that sounds like home to me. Aaron, thank you for well, being hey, on the Josh and Ashley Show. If I'm going to do that, why don't you guys come over and join in the background voices? Well, we just might do that. We just might do that. Hey, <laughs> this we, is going to cost me, I can tell you. <laughs> We have our friend Aaron Wilburn here with us today, and we're so glad. He's going to the music set, and he's getting ready to sing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what a thrill it is to have him, and what a thrill it is to have you watching the Josh and Ashley Show. One more time, let's give a nice thank you and welcome to the music set of the Josh and Ashley Show, Aaron Wilburn. Got the call this morning I can't believe he's gone Thought he'd be here forever One more time Time proved me wrong 
It was just a week ago Thought I should call and say hello Now I'm reminded once again Life's just a vapor in the wind Love the people that God gives you They're a gift that heaven sent Live and laugh, make some memories Treasure every moment spent None of us are here forever That's a proven fact Love the people that God gives you Cause one day He'll want them back Each day the mirror tells the story Wonder where Children laughing around the table now have children of their own. Perhaps there's things you need to say. So while today is still today, you have the chance to hold them close. One more chance to let them know Love the people that God gives you They're a gift that heaven sent Live and laugh and make some memories Treasure every moment spent Cause none of us are here forever That's a proven fact Love the people that God gives you Cause one day He'll want them back The list keeps getting longer Friends and family that I miss When I think about what matters most Comes down to this None of us are here forever That's a proven fact Love the people that God gives you One day One day One day One day He'll want them back Somewhere just across the Jordan River There's a place of everlasting joy and peace Where the stream of life is flowing there And a crown of life is waiting for you and me. That sounds like home to me, like where I want to be. There'll be no tears to fill our eyes again. 
the hills will echo with the story as we sing of his grace and glory where the saints of God will be that sounds like home to me I've read there are mansions there inside that city a crystal river flowing by the trees of life no more pain no disappointment there to hurt us and Jesus Christ himself will be the light that sounds like home to me like where I want to be there will be no tears to fill our eyes again the hills will echo As we sing of His grace and glory, when the saints of God will be, that sounds like home to me. Where the saints of God will be.